Right next to sports, Hopkins High School is known for its visual arts programs offered at the school across a range of different fields, including both digital and traditional styles, all of which offer students with chances to earn awards for their work they do in whichever style they pursue. I'm Rachel Mine, reporting for the Royal Update. Let's take a look into one of the programs offered here. Amelia has been part of the drawing and painting program since her sophomore year at the high school and is currently enrolled in the AP course. Well, I've been in the art program since I was a sophomore and now I'm in AP drawing and painting so that means I've technically gone through four different levels of drawing and painting and I'd have to say that AP is by far my favorite. I'd say the art program has been beneficial to me in the way that it teaches us that there are deadlines when it comes to art and um, me myself, I'm kind of a procrastinator and I really get things done when I want to as opposed to when I'm supposed to and I'd say the art program really teaches you that you need to be on top of your assignments. In the beginning levels you have people who are just in the classes for credit but then you also have people who are really passionate about art and want to go into it um, later in life but um, as you go further in the levels you really meet more people who are passionate and want to do this for the rest of their lives and I think um, when you begin, you see people starting to immerse themselves in art and beginning to like it more than they thought that they would, and I think that's what our department does. Ms. Ruda has been teaching the drawing and painting course at Hopkins High School for well over a decade and has helped many students find their feet with art and move on to higher levels in the school and on to college courses as well. So um, my first question is, uh, how, how many art programs are there at the high school? Well, in the art department, we have two-dimensional art, which is drawing and painting and graphic design, and then there's the three-dimensional, which is ceramics and jewelry design. And then, of course, within both two- and three-dimensional, we offer AP. So we also offer photography, which is in tech ed. So that's really under an art umbrella as well. Okay, and uh, my next question for you is, uh, how, how long have you been teaching in the art program here? I've been teaching here really a long time, and I can't believe it, it's 20 years. I taught two years at Eden Prairie High School, and then um, actually it was about a year and a half at North Junior High, and then, so a total of 20 years in Hopkins, and most of it at the high school. So it's gone really fast because I've had a lot of fun. Okay, so um, how has teaching art at the high school been beneficial to you? Well, first of all, I feel really fortunate because I've been able to do a, I've been in a, a career that I love. And um, teaching art, I think, has um, helped me to continue my own personal work as an artist. Um, I think I've grown interpersonally as far as having relationships with students and which has been I think the best part of my job um, I think it's really wonderful to work with students and at this point in their lives where they're still open and courageous as they figure out their creative voice so that's been a privilege and it, it's, it's been great, besides the fact that I'm passionate about my subject. Okay. The art programs here at the high school can offer everyone a little bit of something for you to try out. And it can be a great stepping stone to potential careers. Reporting for the Royal Update, I'm Joaquin Mendoza and the videographer Rob Corhornin. Come here for your artistic side. <laughs>